The recent releases of American military information from WikiLeaks show evidence of tens of thousands of civ civilian casualties as a result of our invasion of Iraq, as well as widespread abuse and torture of prisoners. There were no weapons of mass destruction found. Many people now regard the Iraq war as a strategic failure and think that it probably incited more terrorist violence than it stopped. How should you be held accountable for Iraq's participation, for uh, Australian participation in the war of Iraq? You, war on Iraq. You just said a moment ago that you uh, defend uh, our participation and you leading our country into a war that most Australians oppose. How do you defend it? Well, I accept responsibility. <laughs> you accept responsibility. I accept responsibility. Would you go to the International uh, Criminal no, well, Court and accept responsibility? Well, all right, all right. Let's calm I think, down. I think we need to no, uh, listen. Let's, let's, let's just, actually let's the just question. remain calm. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I fully accept responsibility for the decision taken by my government. Um, I think the uh, military operation against Iraq by the Coalition of the Willing was justified. I think it was justified on a number of grounds, including uh, the properly entertained belief at the time about weapons of mass destruction, the properly... Well, I, I mean, it's all very well... It's all very well for people we, we, to... We're not going to call out for the audience, is that OK? It's all, it's all very well to sneer, but if you have evidence and material presented to you uh, indicating that those weapons do exist and you ignore that and then subsequently they are used against you, then you have every you know, right to be condemned for all time as having uh, neglected the interests of the country. I thought it was justified. I think there were uh, errors made after the military operation ended. I think there were too few troops and I think that it was a mistake was made in disbanding the Iraqi army. But I will continue to defend, as I extensively do in my book, the original decision on the basis on which it was taken. OK, you're uh, watching... Uh, sorry about that, we've got to move on. We're watching uh, Q&A with the... Uh, that's Q&A special with the former that's Prime Minister, so, John Howard. Sorry, Tony, take it as a comment. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. no, 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 no we're we're not going to do that. Dead, please. And this is so, just someone, uh, someone please remove that gentleman. <laughs> Okay, well, we apologise. Okay, obviously, we apologise for that. That's all right, don't worry, don't worry. Sorry. And uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, forget it, forget it, forget it. Okay, it. you're watching. Uh, relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm? That's right. As the gentleman just said there, if that's all I've got to throw yeah, at you, you've got nothing right. to worry about. 